Su Wu, a diplomat during China's Han Dynasty, was known for his loyalty to the Han Emperor and for his refusal to surrender to the northern Xiongnu tribes. In the year 100 BC, Emperor Wu of Han instructed Su Wu to serve as an ambassador to the Xiongnu, tribes to the north with a history of invading China. Su Wu, holding his imperial staff and accompanied by officers, set off for Xiongnu territory. Upon arriving, Su's officers found the Xiongnu leader Chan Yu arrogant. Su's officers then plotted to kill Chan Yu's half Chinese advisor Wei Lu. But Chan Yu was alerted and thwarted their plan, killing the Xiongnu officers they had conspired with. Chan Yu sent Wei to persuade Su Wu to surrender. But Su, who hadn't known about the assassination plan, said to Wei, I am an ambassador of the Han. How could I betray my mission? If I went on living, how could I hold up my head before people? Su then pulled out a knife and tried to kill himself. Wei managed to stop him and pleaded with Su, telling him that he too had been forced to surrender. But the Xiongnu leader had treated him well, crowned him as a king and given him troops to command, as well as cattle and sheep. But Su remained steadfast in his loyalty to the Han. After Su refused to surrender, Chan Yu locked him in a cellar for several days without food or water. According to ancient classic texts, Su survived his ordeal by eating leather and wool from his clothes to fill his stomach and eating snow to quench his thirst. Upon seeing that Su had not died, Chan Yu thought the gods were protecting him. He then sent Su into exile to herd a flock of sheep instead. For 19 years, Su herded sheep on the shores of Lake Baikal in modern-day Russia, suffering numerous hardships. His imperial staff thus became his shepherd's crook. Then in 81 AD, relations between Han China and the Xiongnu warmed. Chinese officials inquired about Su Wu's whereabouts. After negotiations, Han officials were eventually able to bring Su back to China. After nearly two decades, Su Wu returned to the capital Chang'an, still clutching the same imperial staff. But only a few of the staff's once many feathers remained. Upon seeing this sight, citizens were all moved by Su's loyalty. Su was then given a high-ranking imperial post, and in 51 BC he was included in the portraits of 11 distinguished officials in the imperial palace. The story of Su Wu has been immortalized in the traditional Chinese music Su Wu herding sheep and in numerous artworks where he's usually depicted holding his imperial staff.